a body becomes charged when it has different amount of electrons and protons. In this video, we will learn about transfer of charge from one object to other object. There are three methods by which an object can become charged. 1. By friction. 2. By induction. And by conduction. Let's learn these methods in detail. By friction. We all know that every matter is made of atoms and atoms contain electrons, protons, and neutrons. When we rub two things together, atoms of these things also get rubbed to each other. During this contact, because of friction, electrons from one matter get transferred to the other matter. Matter which loses electron becomes positively charged and matter which gains electron becomes negatively charged. When we comb our hairs, transfer of electron takes place from comb to hairs. Our hairs becomes negatively charged whereas comb becomes positively charged. When we bring positively charged comb near to pieces of paper, it attracts outer surface electrons of paper and paper pieces get stick to comb. By induction. We have already studied that electrons are found on outer surface of an atom. And unlike charges attract whereas like charges repel each other. Induction method of charging is based on these principles. When we bring positively charged body near a normal or neutral body, electrons on the outer surface of normal body's atom get attracted towards the positively charged body and protons get repelled. Due to this shift, charges get separated and one, one part of body becomes positively charged and other part becomes negatively charged. By conduction. When one charged body and one normal conductor body are put in contact with each other, charge from charged body get transferred to the neutral body and make it charged. This mode of charging is called conduction. When we connect ends of a battery with a conducting wire such as copper, electrons from negative end of battery get transferred to the positive end by conduction. 